So let's circle back around now to that um, minority report clip that I showed you in the beginning. Remember the clip showed targeting of advertisements, it showed um, coming up with a unique idea of a person which allows you to target the advertisement, it showed that eye scanner thing, um, and it showed the personalization of those ads. So that's a kind of a cool vision of the future, and, uh, and as I said before, that a lot of that is possible now. We target ads all the time. We can identify you in various ways. We don't have these cool remote scanners, but you know that's not so far in the distance. We have all the display technology. Certainly, we could create displays that are as good as the ones we had in the movie. But what might be missing? What sort of didn't they talk about in that Minority Report advertisement that I think is, um, is really kind of critical for the future of advertising, and actually for the present of advertising for that matter? The first thing is this idea of ads becoming the information. Notice those ads were really still kind of next to ads. They weren't content themselves. They were really straight on ads. You know, there's a Guinness thing. It could, it could very well have been a commercial. And in fact, they really were commercials. Um, they just happened to be fancy commercials. So the idea of the content, the ad becoming the content was not really shown in that vision of the future. Um, another thing that was not shown in that vision, vision of the future was a little bit better targeting. Right, the kind of targeting we do now, this moment of relevance, is really important and it's really kind of the key to understanding what advertisers really want. They want to get you at that moment when you're maximally ready to do the thing. So the one in Minority Report, you know, basically just took a commercial and pasted the guy's name into the commercial. And so it knew who he was, so it pasted his name in. Very, very far from the kinds of real specific targeting to what you need now. Like, for example, in Minority Report, it might have read that he was out of, uh, he was, or he had a refrigerator full of Guinness, but he was out of wine. And so not a Guinness ad, but a wine ad because it knows that he's just about out of wine, right? That kind of targeting is not far off at all. And um, that's where the advert, that's where every moment becomes a moment of relevance because the advertisers totally know what state of need you happen to be in at the moment. Like my car just went into the shop and so I'm gonna see lots of car ads, for example, something like that. Okay, and then the final thing, and, and, and to me, this is maybe the, the most startling thing that they left out, was this idea of the final link. It's not just, hey, John Anderton, you might be ready for a Guinness. It's, hey, John Anderton, Anderton want a Guinness? You know, blink your eyes, and a Guinness will show up when you turn the corner, right? That's sort of um, the final link or the final act of actually purchasing the thing is also not shown in the Minority Report. However, you know, it's Hollywood, and they, they went with the cool thing, and, um, and so um, we can't really blame them for leaving out some stuff that, um, that we might now be able to think about.